You ever feel like you have so many nerdy thoughts that you just want to burst sometimes? Well, Wolverine's claws are too long. They're too long. I'm not saying that Wolverine is impossible. That's no fun. Just that he needs to get even awesomer in order to snick properly. Time for a mutant anatomy lesson. Wolverine is a mutant defined by two things, a superhuman regeneration factor and an adamantium coated skeleton complete with giant claws that can burst forth from his hands. The claws are cool, sure, but they are too long. Let's see if we can make them work with James Howlett's anatomy. Now, this wouldn't even be a problem if we never actually saw how Wolverine's claws fit into his arms, but look at this x-ray from the original X-Men movie. Notice anything weird? When his claws are retracted, he shouldn't be able to bend his wrist without serious lacerations. Oh, every time it hurts every time! Okay, what about this X-ray from X-Men Origins Wolverine? Now when his claws are out, he shouldn't be able to bend his wrists either, which makes this scene and this scene impossible. And what about this box art from the same movie? Now his claws come past his wrists and out to his knuckles? What kind of anatomy does this monster have? It doesn't really matter because I can prove that Wolverine's claws are too long for his body. I don't know if you know this, but canonically, Wolverine is just five foot three, or 160 centimeters. And if we go by maybe Vitruvian man proportions in this terribly drawn circle, that means that his forearms are just 27 centimeters long, or roughly 10 and a half inches. According to a professional prop made for an X-Men commercial and some old Marvel data, Wolverine's claws are somewhere between 30 centimeters, or a foot, and 45 centimeters, or 17.8 inches. Both of these are longer than his forearms. If Wolverine's claws are too long, either he won't be able to bend his wrists, like in the X-ray for the original X-Men movie, or he won't be able to bend his elbow, as I think would be the case in X-Men Origins Wolverine. Both are unacceptable to me. Our only option is to make Wolverine proportional to his claws. We want a set of claws that can fit perfectly inside Wolverine's forearms so that he can use them properly, so here's five foot three Logan. If his claws need to be at least 12 inches long according to the movie prop, then based on average human proportions, he needs to be at least 198 centimeters tall, or around six foot five. That's only a bit taller than Hugh Jackman. Hey, that kind of- Oh, no! That kind of works for Hugh Jackman, but while he plays Wolverine, he isn't Wolverine. So let's use the old Marvel Comics trading card data for claw length and scale our mutant accordingly based on average human proportions. Then Wolverine would have to be at least 267 centimeters tall or eight foot nine. That's taller than Colossus. And crucially with a giant Wolverine, you have more interior forearm space to work with. Evolution has worked pretty hard to make sure that it's not wasting any space when it packs muscles in your body. Here's a cross section of your forearm. Not much space, right? At least in a giant Wolverine, you wouldn't have to remove as many muscles to get his claws in there. The same muscles that probably provide the snicting motion in the first place. Ooh. So, because Wolverine's claw length depends more on the writer or the movie script than anatomy, we can probably say that his claws are always too big for his body. And to be accurate, we need a giant Wolverine. Because science. But don't make Hugh Jackman any bigger, because he kinda already looks like a giant. Never mind. Thank you so much for watching. A few years ago, we discovered a frog in Central Africa that's a real wolverine. Not because it can regenerate super well, but because when it gets agitated, it has bones on the insides of its hands and skeleton, and it just rips it through its own skin out to stab stuff with. Sometimes science is cooler in fiction. If you go, if you look at the first X-Men and then X-Men 
you know, Origins Wolverine and the Wolverine, he's become so vascular that he's just, it's like a, 